Well, I was not expecting this one out of all the animatronics to return for the 40th anniversary, especially in a reimagined way. Very, very interesting. I was really not expecting them to return this guy in a reimagined way, especially because he's still on the website, the original one is. But honestly, I do. it kind of does make sense. He's like the most iconic Spear Halloween animatronic, maybe besides the Jumping Spider, to date. They've been bringing him back year after year since 2016. So, of course, for the 40th anniversary, they do something a little special with him and actually give him a reimagined design. And honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I, I really do like this design a lot. However, I don't think I like it more than the original design. However, there is some things that I do like a little bit better about it. Um, firstly, I mean, the face is clear. It has more detail to it. It actually has an actual, like, mouth and eyes that like light up so i do expect this one to be a bit more expensive just because it has more detailing and the light up eyes and the mechanism is probably a little bit stronger so that way it can you know uh hold the more i guess weight and material on the face this one also seems to have um like straw hair coming out of its hat which i don't believe the old one had i know the old one had some straw in it but not like a full head of hair um which is very interesting Overall, it's it's kind of like it still remains the classic sitting scarecrow that we know, especially with the same audio and the same clothing, but just in a, I guess, more, I guess, spookier way. However, I have seen some comments already saying that they like the old one better because the expressionless face kind of added a very creepy factor to it, which I can agree with for sure. However, I do like the detailing on this one a lot, and someone else mentioned this too, um, that it's very similar to the Wicked Maker's custom sitting scarecrow, which even though that one still looks a lot better, you know, I could definitely tell Spirit was kind of taking inspiration from that to remake the sitting scarecrow into a more scarier character. You know, just by changing, you know, a little bit of the facial detail details, adding hair and um, a new hat, like a darker brown hat, which I actually do like this hat a lot better than the original hat for Sitting Scarecrow. It's a lot more filled looking, looks more like a traditional scarecrow hat, in my opinion, especially with the rope around it. Um, overall, it's not a terrible return. You know, it's very interesting that they actually reimagined him. And I, I'm if I had to take a guess here, I can honestly predict that because they brought back Sitting Scarecrow in this reimagined way, I could definitely see them returning the Jumping Spider in a reimagined way as well, because that is another classic animatronic. And I can definitely see them bringing the, back the Jumping Spider just in a more detailed fashion, maybe more like plasticky, I guess, using plastic materials to make sure that he's a bit more realistic and detailed looking, similar to this return. So I don't know, very interesting overall. Tell me what you guys think about the Sitting Scarecrow's return in the comments below, and tell me if you like the old one or the new one better. Honestly, for me, I still kind of prefer the old one just because it's the iconic one, um, but I am very welcoming to this new one because I think it's still cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.